Wow, Mr. Bergman. You're not very good at this. Yeah, well, you messed me up. What do you mean? It was your fault. No, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you playing? I'm playing Tetris. Tet Why are you playing Tetris? Tetris is like the ultimate game. Yeah, so ah! I used to play this on Nintendo, the original Nintendo. I am do, sucking do, at do, this. Do, 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 oh. Do, 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 do. Hey! I got one. Do, 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 do. Tetris is a cool game. Yeah, so why are we playing Tetris on the chemistry lesson? Because we're going to be talking about tetrahedral substances. Ah! I got to forget the up. It's so, up. Oh, so tetra, tetris. Tetris. Hey, what, now, is, what does tetra mean? Well, tetra means four. And something interesting about this all is that tetris all of the tetris pieces have four have boxes. Four boxes. Ah. Uh, oh, hey, hey, look at that. You're amazing. I'm finally figuring out the interface no. of this. It's not like it was in the old on days. On the Game Boy? Um, I, See, I had an original Game Boy, too. Game Boys? Yeah. I, I, that's original. Kind of old school original Mr. Game Boy. Ah! Oh, I got it. Good. Nah! <laughs> Look at that. Okay. I'm amazing. We should probably do some chemistry. Probably now. should talk chemistry now. I'm yeah. getting into the game, though. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right. Yep. So today we're going to talk about molecular compounds. And, of course, we wanted to talk to you about the uh, Greek prefixes. Oh, yeah. And that's what this page uh -huh. is. Hey, this is one of those push-pause pages. And write it down. And write it down. Hey, if there is one substance, it's mono. Two is dye. Three is try. Do triathlons. Triathlons. Swim, bike, run. Three events. Tetra, like Tetris. Tetris. Yeah, Penta, like five. There's five-sided, like a Pentagon. It's a, or, uh, yeah, Pentagon, yeah, Pentagon is a building. I was there this summer. Hexa, six. Hepta, seven. You're going to go to a heptathlon. It's an Olympic event. Octa, like an octopus, eight. Nana is nine. I don't know why, but it is. And Deca, like a decathlon. Or a decade. A decade, yeah. So it's at 10. So write those down, okay? Now, the good news about this whole business We're is that we want to learn how to name molecular, molecular or covalent compounds. Same thing. Now, actually, we should make a quick note about this. What types of elements are we talking about when we do this? Okay, so this is important that we understand that this only applies to what types of elements? Non-metals. Now, non-metals, there's not too many non-metals we're talking about here, guys. It's just these characters over here. And actually, we can kind of exclude the last column because they never react with anything. And actually, there's one additional thing. Hydrogen over here is also considered a non-metal. So it's just like boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, bromine, so this group right here. Yeah. That's it. And so when they get together... They have a different set of naming rules. They do. So and the very first thing before you start naming something is figure out what kind of compound you're dealing with. Yeah. Is it ionic or is it covalent? So if it's covalent, you're going to use what I'm going to call the Greek system, where you use Greek prefixes, mm -hmm. mono, di, tri. And in the ionic, like we just got it's done, the Roman the system. it's the Roman system. It's the Roman numerals. Okay, so now here we have P2O5. Now in P2O5, if you find P and O, they're both... Non-metals. Non-metals. All right. So both non-metals. We're going to now use the uh, Greek, Greek, naming system. Greek naming system. The good news is, is that it really makes sense. Most students have like, love this. Yeah, system. these are easy. So this would be di. Because so that there's a two there's there. There's two of them. So that now the Roman numeral isn't. We don't have a Roman because it's right. Greek. Diphosphorus. Right. Just give it the regular element name on the first compound. All right. And, and then, then it'll be penta. It's a pent oxide. Pent oxide. Right. Actually, two, oxide two is kind of a weird thing. You don't say yeah. pent uh, oxide. You try to not have two vowels together, yeah. except like with iodide, because you can't yeah. really say pent. Yeah, if you put penta oxide, no one's yeah. going to slap you on the wrist for it either. All right, and now in 4010. 4 is tetra. So this is that tetra we just did at the beginning. Uh, tetra nitrogen. Again, the, the first element, you just give it its regular name. And the second element gets the I-D-E I -E right. ending. And 10 is deca, so, but it's oxide. We'll say dec oxide. We're doing oxides, it looks like. They don't yeah. always have to be oxides, but these three are, it looks yep. like. And this will be di Difluorine. Fluorine. Now, what do you do with the O? Well, it's one, so it's mono. It's a monoxide. Yeah, monoxide. See, these are really easy. Most right. students, this is just uber easy. Now, let's go the other direction. Carbon monoxide. Now, there's only, it says carbon, so, so carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. So that means there's one carbon. Uh-huh. Mono means one, so that's one up. CO. Yeah. Now, don't get that confused with CO. These are not the same. No. This is the element cobalt, cobalt which is a metal. Big C, little O. And this is carbon monoxide. Big C, big O. So those of you who write in all caps all the time. Doesn't work in chemistry. Don't. Yeah. All right. Tetra phosphorus. Tetra so means phosphorus four. is P. Yep. Tetra is four. four. 
Deck Oxide. <laughs> I think we've seen this. Oh, 10. Oh, 10. Didn't we just do that on last week? Yeah, well, we did it in the other direction, so That's I guess true. it's a okay. new problem. Nitrogen triiodide. Nitrogen is N. So N, I. And tri means three. Three. Yeah. Very simple. Now, I noticed something. There's no mono in front of nitrogen. It's not mono nitrogen triiodide, yeah. and it's not mono carbon monoxide. Yeah, if, you have, the, if you have the first element, it's redundant to say mono carbon oh, monoxide. No. So, so they just drop the mono. You just drop the mono if the first element is... If there's only one of them. There's only one Can of them. Can we do an example where you, we have the formula and we, we go to the name? Sure. How about we do um, OF2? Okay, OF2. Hmm. Okay, so normally I would put mono oxygen because there's one then oxygen. You can't do that. It's just one O. But we don't like the we don't like to start the first one with mono. Is that what it is? Yeah. So okay, so just it's oxygen di difluoride. Fluoride. Okay, so if it's if it would if the first element there's only one, we don't put the mono. But if there's only one of the second one, we do put the mono. That's correct. Okay, that's it, guys. Short podcast. All right. Well, you're almost done with the unit. Yay! Woo!